I'm going to talk about a subject briefly and then I'm going to reintroduce it again. I'm just going to touch on it and then I'm going to wrap up the other video I started on the future of medicine. Now many of you may have heard about that vegan teacher and you might have heard something about how she was banned from TikTok. I heard a little snippet about it. I happen to be vegan. I never heard of her before. And um, I have noticed a backlash against people who are vegan. And I personally, I'm vegan. I've been vegan since 2013. But most of the time, I talk about educational things. I've got family members that are vegetarians and not vegan. They understand me. They get me. I've family my children are not vegan um and it it's been kind of hard since I went vegan but my health has improved a lot and I feel a lot better being vegan but I understand you know that you know, even as a child I tried saying you know what about these eggs you know and basically my family members were always telling me I needed enough protein, I couldn't get enough protein and stuff like that, so I would eat it, but I kind of was like thinking, so, you know, it was like, you know, it was like when you learn um, that you've been fed some lies, you know, you're told that this is an animal. It's like, I didn't know I was eating an animal. So, beef is a cow. You know, and I've gone to the farm and get the milk from the cow. My mom had us go do that. So there's been a real rise and backlash against people that are vegan. And if you even just go on YouTube and you Google vegan or that vegan teacher, you will start seeing this dialogue going on, hating on vegans. Now, there are probably some extremists animal rights activists and uh, I'm sort of a moderate person so there might be some uh, activists you know there's vegans come from all wa walks of life all ages veganism's been around a long time and unfortunately a lot of vegans have been uh, treated unfairly ridiculed uh, I have uh, two vegan friends that I can give you examples of. One of them had to be hospitalized and they couldn't eat any food because the hospital did not have vegan decent food. And the doctor told them they couldn't have any spicy food. So the only thing that was on the menu that they could eat was a vegan uh, black bean burger, but the doctor said, no, it's too spicy. So they were relegated to eating peanut butter crackers the entire time they're in the hospital and maybe a piece of fruit and it's like ridiculous there's no there's this is in the United States so uh, basically there's more and more people that are joining the uh, healthy lifestyle the plant-based lifestyle and changing their diets and some of them stay with it some of them don't but it's very difficult to stay with it when you have a large community which has vegaphobia. So you'll have a lot of closet vegans because of the vegaphobia. And I'm serious about this. I am serious about this. You, you know, a lot of people think it's a joke. It's not a joke. So, um... Over in Britain, there were so many crimes against vegans that they were able to pass a law that vegans are a protected class. And anybody that attacks them can be charged with a hate crime. The United States is not the same way, though, as of now, unless we band together and get the laws changed. I went to the FBI website they have a new law that was passed in 2009 to protect people 
based on their gender identity, which is, you know, okay, that's a hate crime against somebody because of their beliefs and what they're doing with their life. Well, this is the same thing. This is a lifestyle choice, and it's about protecting the animals, and it's also about being healthy. So, um, let's take a look at this article here. And then I'm going to jump off, and then we can talk about this a little bit more another time. But um, I've been having a little bit of asthma. I'm sorry I didn't get on here earlier, but I was I was gonna I was gonna wrap up the uh, the other video, and I started to prepare for that because I was just going to do a quick wrap up of the health choices. But veganism came up in the video because I was talking about agribusinesses as far as the future of healthcare and everything. So let's take a look about this. And so people who want to socialize and they want to move forward a cause, you know, like abolitionists or uh, people who uh, want to stop animal testing or whatever, and, you know, personally, I don't like to get too involved in activism as far as protesting and stuff goes. Personally, I just like to just kind of lead by example. And then, you know, you can, you can do whatever you want. It's your life, right? But I'm not going to tell you how to live. So this teacher, Katie Karen Dykemeyer, um, I don't know how you say her name, De Deekmeyer, maybe Deek, um, boasted 1.7 million followers, but she was banned for violating the community standards because somebody made a petition by 20,000 haters of vegans when she has 1.7 million followers for violating their standards. Now, they said she was moral and eth eth ethically repugnant. So, how is this eth... I don't even know Did if you I... wake up and think to yourself, you know what, I've been following that vegan teacher for a while now, and I think I'm ready. I'm ready to stop abusing animals. I'm ready to stop paying the meat industry, the dairy industry, and the egg industry, and the fur industry. All of it. I'm ready to start my vegan journey. Well, perfect. Let's sing. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Happy Vegan Declaration Day to you. Whether you've been vegan for Okay, look at Peppa Pig. Okay, so I don't know how that is morally repugnant. But evidently, it is definitely a hate crime. It's a hate crime in censoring people that are just speaking the truth, it's ridiculous. I mean, so here's another video. She's asking Hello, people on YouTube. Many of you woke up this morning and found out that my account was banned on TikTok. And I know many of you are jumping for joy and thinking that this is a great victory. Somehow, it makes you smile to know that an animal rights activist is being silenced on one of the platforms. Why is that? Why does that bring you joy? I know why. Because you're feeling guilty. You know you shouldn't be eating animals. You okay, so basically this teacher's giving her opinion and people want to get her off. I have I've been watching a lot of vegan channels lately on YouTube and um, I probably am going to expand on this and show you all the channels that I found but I found a lot of hater channels that are hating vegans, making fun of vegans. Fox News attacks vegans quite fre frequently. Um, news stations attacking vegans. It's a, it's a, it's hateful. It's prejudiced, it's stereotypical, 
Each vegan is different, okay? Not all of us are the same. We don't stand for exactly the same thing. But we do have one thing in common. A plant-based diet. Plant-based lifestyle. Now, I'll tell you right now, each of us is different. And some of us um, are not 100% vegan, but they still go by vegan. And they'll say, well, you know, I've got some, some leather shoes and I, I'm not throwing them away. And I have an old fur coat. I'm going to keep it. So I'm still vegan. The, it's not going to bring the animal back. So, you know, I mean, that's that's the thing about it all. Being vegan can be healthier if you make sure that you have a balanced diet and you have everything that you need. Any kind of diet, whether any kind of diet, you need to make sure it's balanced. And I could probably get into that in another video about where you can get different sources of protein, complete proteins, getting a calculator, how many grams generally do you need of protein a day, where do you get your omega-3s from, flax seed, omega uh, chia seeds, um, algae, um, ocean plants, uh, walnuts, but anyway, so I just want to say thanks for listening, and I think that maybe the United States and some other countries ought to offer protection to vegans from hate and suppression for expressing their identities as vegans. Thanks for listening. Take care. Links are below. Bye. Love you lots.